Hello guys, this is Kishan and this video is on understanding a Cartesian product like what is a Cartesian product or a cross join and how it is formed and how to avoid it. Basically a Cartesian product is M into N. Like if table 1 has N number of rows and table 2 has N number of rows then a Cartesian product will be, would be M into N. Every row of table 1 will be joined to every row of table 2. So a Cartesian product is formed normally when you have missed a join condition or you have written a join condition that is not valid. Um, that leads to a Cartesian product or a cross join where each and every single row of table 1 is mapped with each and every single row of table 2. So you get an M into N set of rows. Um, I'll just show you what it is. As I've written over here, employees table have 107 records, the department's table have 27 records. Now, I write a, um, I want to write a join condition, but with, and I've um, omitted the join clause or the, you know, and the clause of uh, comparing the columns of the two tables, the joining clause, what we say. I take the first name from the employees table, the last name from the employees table and the department name from the department table so I write from employees and from departments and when I run this without a where clause what happens is every single row of employees table is now mapped with the department's table so <clears throat> what I get is oops, what I get is 2889 rows 2889 is how it's like uh, let me just check it 207 into 27 from Jude so as stated earlier all the records of the employees table one by one all the records of the employees table have been mapped with all the employees of the department table so what happens is if there is an employee like Adam now Adam Fripp uh, might be into any one of the department but what happened is Adam Fripp got mapped 27 times you know to all the department present we have 27 records in the department table and we can see that the one record of employee table that is Adam Fripp is uh, mapped 27 times to the department uh, name all the department names one after the other he has been mapped to so each and every such record is mapped to each and every other record of the other table so each and every employee is now mapped to each and every department in this case why because I have not written a join condition so that is this Cartesian product also known as a cross join to to you know simplify this just simply gave a joining condition. I have just given alias E to it and alias T to it and put a where clause with a jo joining condition like E dot department ID is equal to T dot department ID and and over here it is E dot. So the issue is solved. I get only 106 record so now Adam Fripp is only mapped to the shipping department which he belongs to not all of the department so this is a cross join and this is how to solve it you know just appropriate where clause uh, can help you get rid of this uh, uh, cross join on a Cartesian product and if you forget to write this somehow then you will have a cross join lots of records all necessary records all wrong records would be there. I hope this video was informative. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.